Hello, today we are going to look at the alternator uh, from a 2 liter uh, Porsche uh, 924 and some of the specific uh, installation requirements and things that I do mm, to mine to uh, prolong its life. Uh, this unit has been uh, tested, uh, taken apart, tested, uh, obviously painted and um, one of the things uh, that I made in mine is um, I replaced the standard uh, washer, spring washer, because uh, after uh, zinc plating uh, it's no, it's not spring loaded anymore. Uh, so instead I uh, went with the nylon locking washer. Um, for good good measure, I also put some Noctite in it. And the other thing uh, that uh, I did is I purchased these uh, stiff um, mounting pushes. They are uh, made of Delrin and they prevent uh, the movement of the alternator uh, when you tighten uh, the belt. And it's a common issue. The standard uh, bushing looks like this. It has two rubber inserts and um, it squishes the rubber inserts using the pressure of the of the bolt, therefore isolating the alternator from the vibrations of the motor. This uh, solution obviously doesn't provide that, uh, but it makes for a, a perfect alignment and for uh, less problems down the road uh, coming from a misaligned uh, V-groove and uh, with the other uh, pulleys on the engine. Um, that's one thing you have to remember you have to run a fairly large uh, washer because if you use uh, only the bolt like you can see here uh, it can crush the material and uh, uh, you will lose this outer ring and uh, lose the pressure. The other thing is because this alternator is mounted on um, bushings that are made of a non-conductive material you have to provide ground to the alternator or it won't charge your car. Um, I actually uh, got this pre-assembled and this is the cable that came with it obviously the wrong, wrong color but if you look closely here you can also look that it was poorly made and it was installed sorry for the focusing problems and sorry for the flickering it was installed in the way that allowed air and moisture to get under um, under the terminal in my case uh, I always squish the terminal between two washers to uh, improve um, sealing of the surfaces, <clears throat> so we can't uh, we can't uh, can't get any moisture. The other thing is um, because the housing was painted, and there was paint in these holes here under the um, capacitor and also here when uh, where the regulator makes contact with the. Uh, with the uh, housing. So that's a thing uh, that you have to remember wherever you uh, make an electrical contact of course it can uh, the, the thread itself can provide it a contact but it's best uh, it's, a, it's a good practice to also uh, uh, clean the surfaces where you require electrical contact. In this particular model you have this uh, shroud that provides fresh air from the front of the car for the cooling. The cooling is provided via um, centrifugal force uh, with this small fan arrangement. And <clears throat> inside here, I didn't uh, make any modification, uh, just new bearings. And I use a walking, uh, locking nylon uh, nut here and a spring washer here. Uh, Nylon is okay here because it doesn't really uh, transfer any current, it just uh, sh like starts the process. But this connection actually can get hot 
especially if you draw a lot of current or you're starting the car or uh, you have air conditioning and go through rain with wipers and lights and so on so it can go hot that's why uh, I'm not going with uh, nylon here I'm going with a spring washer and also two washers to clamp um, the terminal and that's pretty much it it's nothing fancy, it's just some uh, maintenance that I wanted to do before I installed it on the car um, because I'm planning a, a big road trip with it so I didn't want it to fail on the, uh, on the way <clears throat> I especially didn't want uh, it to underperform uh, or fail in a, in a you know, um, silly matter like a loose uh, nut or uh, poorly made uh, ground connection. Uh, this cable that I made is a mm, 10 millimeter, square millimeters uh, uh, diameter <clears throat> and it uses new terminals and uh, I solder my ter terminals wherever I can. I also sold soldered this terminal inside and I use a bit of copper grease on all, all the connections. <clears throat> I know it's grease so it's technically not supposed to be there but I uh, I practiced that a lot and I never had any problems um, so uh, that's just my way of preparing the, the alternator before putting it in the car <laughs>